Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome, my name is Christine. Today I'm gonna to share with you some of my favorite fragrances. I narrowed it down to my top three and then I also have honorable mentions just because a lot of you guys don't know but I'm actually a fragrance fanatic. I have a lot in my collection and I just wanted to share some of the fragrances that I reach for the most in my collection. So I hope you all will enjoy this video. Before we go ahead and jump into it, first make sure you hit the subscribe button. Also hit that little notification bell. Enjoy Join the little notification squad and without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. These are the fragrances that I'm going to talk about in today's video. I wanted to narrow it down as much as possible, but it was so hard to, you know? I have three different categories that I'm going to talk about today. First category is like earthy slash musky scents. Then I'm going to talk about more floral, fresh scents. And then the third category is going to be kind of like citrusy scents. First category is earthy. I love my earthy musky scents. Something that almost smells like kind of masculine those are my favorite type of scents those are like my everydays if i were to pick my number one fragrance in my collection ever i would say maison louis marie number four bois de balancourt so I actually have two different versions here. I have the fume oil and then I actually have the perfume. I prefer the perfume oil just because I find that it's a little bit more potent and all I need to do is roll some behind my ears, a little bit on my wrist and I can smell it all day. This perfume oil retails for 57 dollars at Sephora. The bigger size, the perfume is 85 dollars. So this one, it is a bigger size, but personally, like I said, it's not quite as potent as the little perfume oil is so I would prefer this one. Sephora describes it as an earthy and woody scent. It has notes of sandalwood, vetiver, and amber wood. I am obsessed with sandalwood and vetiver. This is why it's my favorite fragrance in my collection and is probably my most used. Sephora describes it as a sandalwood fragrance with a dominant cedar wood and sandalwood accord supplemented by a spicy cinnamon nutmeg complex and an earthy vetiver note. Don't you love how sites always just make perfumes sound so expensive and luxe? It's kind of like that boutique-y, very earthy slash musky scent, but I personally just think it is the ideal scent for me. I wear it every single day, and most likely, if I'm wearing a fragrance, it's one of these. I also have the matching Maison Louis Marie candle that I actually just finished, so I need to go buy another one, but their scents are just like... Just guess. The second fragrance I want to talk about is the Lalabo Bergamot scent. This scent, actually, long story, was gifted to me by this dude that followed me on Instagram that thought I was really cute and I entertained it for a while and then he bought me this perfume and then I was like, okay, bye. It's much more complicated than this. This was back when Brent and I were like, not really on good terms. We were kind of taking a short break and so I was like kind of seeing other people. So I am obsessed with the way that it smells. I would say that this one almost is a little bit citrusy compared to the Maison Louis Marie one. This is the only scent that I'm gonna talk about that's not carried at Sephora. So it's actually on Nordstrom's website for 192 dollars. This one is expensive. I did not realize how expensive this was, but Nordstrom describes it as a fresh, sweet, and sensual scent, which I agree with. It has notes of bergamot, grapefruit, pettigrain, I don't know what that is, orange blossom, cedarwood, vetiver and musk. You definitely can smell the bergamot and the citrusy scents and the vetiver in it is just such a good touch. This one's a little bit lighter than Maison Louis Marie to me just because of the citrusy notes. I'm shook by how expensive this is. So if you want to splurge yourself, this scent lasts a really long time on the skin. I want to say it compares to the perfume oil. Like it's very, very potent. And especially if you like bergamot, you will really, really enjoy this. And packaging also is just very unisex looking and it's just very clean and masculine and I feel like even men I think will really really enjoy this. Third scent in the earthy category is the Way North Bondi perfume. It's not really that earthy or woody. It's almost kind of like floral. In fact on the website it's described as a fresh floral scent but to me when I want a floral scent, I want something very sweet and very, very floral. So the other three fragrances I'm gonna talk about in that category are much more fresher, sweeter, and lighter smelling than this one. So to me, this one kind of belongs in like a different category. On Savoir's website, it's described, like I said, as a fresh floral. It has notes of Italian lemon, jasmine, and bergamot. As you can see, I just love bergamot. And it's described as a floral fragrance with notes of bergamot, Italian lemon, rose de mai, violet, and 
white moss. So it does have kind of like that earthy bergamot, but it also has touches of little florals in it. And I think it's a really good lightweight scent, perfect for every day. Whenever I think of like a really pretty businesswoman, <laughs> I imagine her smelling like this. I really enjoy this. And during the time when I was still going to events and stuff like that, I was reaching for this a lot just because to me, it smells kind of sensual, but still welcoming and like feminine. So I do really, really enjoy this. And this retails for $56. So, so far it is the lowest price perfume that I talked about. It doesn't really last a whole lot of time. And honestly, I was really surprised because when I got this in the mail, I was like, ooh, cute. Like Way is more known for their hair care. So I wasn't expecting much, but it smells amazing. And if you know their hair care or body washes or anything like that, they just do really, really good with fragrances. Moving right along into the floral scents. All of my floral scents are designers and I just feel like these are really expensive. All of college, like I just loved the light and floral scent. So the first one that I want to talk about, this is probably my most worn floral scent. This is the YSL Mon Paris perfume and this one retails for a hundred dollars at Sephora. It's described as a sensual and feminine scent with notes of strawberry, raspberry, bergamot, orange flower, jasmine, peony, white musk, cedarwood, among other things, and patchouli as well. And on the website it says it is a sparkling fragrance inspired by Paris, the city of intense love. So when I smell this it definitely does make me think of Paris, like a very high-end restaurant that serves like six courses and fancy drinks. I don't know if I mentioned it, but it does retail for $100. So packaging alone just gets me and I'm obsessed with YSL. Like eventually I would love to be wearing YSL boots and clothes and sunglasses. I'm not crazy about their bags, but anyways, I think that this is a really nice like sensual, very feminine scent. It's not so much floral. It kind of just smells like, I don't want to say fruity because I don't want you to think like cheap, kiddish. It's like expensive fruits. You know what I mean? It just, it smells very high end, very like Malibu, Beverly Hills, Mama. Sorry, I'm, I'm really not the best at describing perfumes, but you guys want to see this video. So here we are. Another fragrance in my collection in this floral category is the Chloe Love Story. And this one retails for $115, but this one actually is probably the biggest one in my collection. So for the price, you are getting a whole lot. I feel like this is a really well-known fragrance and on Sephora's website, it's described as fresh. It has notes of orange blossom, plum blossom. It's naturally sensual, free-spirited, and spontaneous, intense yet utterly refined. It just reminds me so much of college. I remember I wore the scent a lot when Brad and I were like starting to see each other. It just smells very lightweight, kind of smells a little bit young, but if I were to describe it between the Chloe and the YSL, the YSL just reminds me of like high-end fashion, very like businesswoman. To me, the Chloe one just smells a little bit younger. And this one is just a little bit more like dewy floral scent. And I think the packaging alone is absolutely gorgeous. In college, this was a very well-loved fragrance. Last floral fragrance I want to talk about, and this one is fairly new to my collection, but this is the Valentino Rochi Viva perfume. Retails for $100 on Sephora, and it's described as a warm floral. It has notes of Italian bergamot, orange blossom, and crystal moss accord. I don't know what the latter is, but it's described as a feminine scent. Orange blossom absolute and golden gardenia paired with colorful Italian bergamot and mandarin. Cool note of crystal moss accord and vanilla perfume. It's feminine, yet intimate and personal. So warm floral is like the perfect way to describe this. I almost want to say it reminds me a lot of the way one where it's kind of like a balance between a floral slash a little bit earthy. This one probably is the least floral scent in this category. It reminds me of Tropical Vacation. It's very warm. It has a light floral scent and you can really smell the bergamot and orange blossom like it says. This is new to my collection, but ever since I got it, I'll spray it on every once in a while and it quickly became a really reached for fragrance in my collection. Last category is more like citrusy scents. This is whenever I'm in a mood to wear something like really light and bright, especially if I'm like in a really, really good mood. I don't really wanna wear something super heavy or musky, but I also don't wanna wear something super sweet 
and floral smelling. So my favorite fragrance in this category is the Maison Margiela Replica Under the Lemon Tree Perfume. Also to let you know, a lot of these fragrances were gifted to me. As you know, I work with Sephora a lot. And the last few years, I was part of the Sephora squad. This one, Brennan actually bought for me for my birthday a couple years back. So some of them I did purchase myself. And this is one of the fragrances that I was gifted. According to Sephora's website, this is described as a fresh citrus and fruit scent. It has notes of calamansi accord coriander and musk it also says that this fragrance is for men and women it's a dreamy blend of calamansi lime green tea citrus and soft musk perfume a light and crisp fragrance this unisex cologne evokes la dote vita with a signature scent of the southern italian countryside so when i smell this it definitely does smell like fresh citrus but it does have a little bit of a musky like after note if that's a thing very fresh and lightweight and i just love a good citrusy scent and this one just to me is like the ideal citrusy scent the only thing i will say is that these fragrances don't really last a whole lot of time but you do get a lot in here so you can kind of just go crazy spray yourself all over with them but this one is just very light very inviting really great for every single day next scent in this category is the skylar sun shower perfume and this one retails for 78 duelas on sephora this one is actually clean at sephora as well on sephora's website it is in the earthy and woody fragrance family it has notes of lemon leaves jasmine tea and meadow greens and it's described as a renewing scent with bright notes of lemon leaves and meadow greens that blend beautifully with clean notes of jasmine to uplift your mood and inspire joy it just smells like summer and happiness in a bottle it smells really really citrusy but also like a little bit florally but it's lightweight enough that you can spray all over where every Every single day it's not too much at all and especially if you're not like a big musky perfume person and you're not really into like florals either the citrus family is a really great place to start it's very fresh and every day it makes you happy smelling it and the last scent that I want to talk about is this one from clean reserve this is solar bloom this is also in the warm floral scent category it retails for 98 dollars on Sephora it has notes of bergamot orange blossom and coconut water and it's described as a radiant perfume Perfume that glows with sparkling citrus notes with a floral banquet reading these fragrance descriptions makes me feel like I need to have like a British accent or like to be wearing very expensive clothes because it just sounds so fancy a floral bouquet blooms at the heart adding a vibrancy to the earthy charcoal tones and sensual coconut water to me it smells like warm but still like a little bit crispy. I'm the worst at describing. Like the Valentino scent is very, very warm. And this one is just like a couple touches above that. It's not quite as warm. There's little notes of citrus in here that kind of make it a little bit more fresher smelling. And I also really love Clean Reserve. This bottle, retails for 98 doulas which i feel like really is not a whole lot the packaging feels very luxe this brand also cares a lot about sustainability so if you read up on their website they talk about where they source all the ingredients and stuff like that i love the scent if the notes sound good to you you should get it <laughs> all these fragrances i really really love if i were to narrow it down to my favorites the number one most used fragrance, the one that I'm wearing almost all the time, this is like my signature scent, is the Maison Louis Marine Number no. 4 Bois de Balancourt. This is just my ideal scent. I love all the notes in here. I love vetiver, I love bergamot, I love sandalwood, and I just feel like all of these are just chef's kiss definitely my most worn number two i will say is the way north bondi scent this is just a little bit lighter and kind of like lightly floral which i really like so this is my second most reached for fragrance and then my third one i want to say is the maison margiela replica perfume whenever i'm in that mood for a citrusy scent i just reach for this one a lot it's just so lightweight it smells so like clean and crisp also let me just bring in brandon really quick and get his quick opinion the first one he's gonna smell i think it's that one mm, that's nice it's floral but not too floral but then it also like you're saying it has the earthy musky scent yeah it's just it a really almost good looks one. it almost sounds like or sounds it almost it smells, smells like. like a uh, like gender neutral yeah, like anybody anybody can yeah. wear it. it smells expensive yeah it does next is this one the way what yeah, do you think that good. one might spray it this one's definitely more like girly I would say sweeter floral not so musky earthy yeah because this one's like earthy and musky what do you like better between those two for you I would probably this one this one kind of reminds me of you more 
between the two. But you like both of them? Yeah, but I like both a lot. Third one. Both are good options. Remember this one? Maison Louis Marie. So he's smelling this one next. And now smelling on my wrist, it kind of smells like Abercrombie and Fitch, but like no, what? But like way more high end. I don't even know what Abercrombie and Fitch smells like. But it smells good. Yeah, I like that one a lot. It's like warm and musky. Those, Those are, are your top three. Yeah, this is the citrusy one. This one's. Good. That's probably my favorite smelling one. Is what? Did, how do you say that? Okay, anyway, so you like this one. Well, this one is marketed more towards unisex, so that makes sense. Yeah. And which one do you think is more me? But for you, out of all the three, I would like the way, then this one, and then this other one for you. Yeah, so his ranking is way, Maison Louis Marie, and then the replica one. Because this one is a little bit more like unisex one. But yeah, this one for sure is my favorite. That's, that's it? That's it. Thank you so much. All right, guys. Until next time.